Hello Booktube. Welcome to the channel. Jim Reads Too Slow. I'm Jim. And I thought it was high time that I read another poem. It's been a while. So I picked one in honor of uh, the last few days of April. April's winding down. And so I picked a poem by Delmore Schwartz. Uh, some of you may recognize at least one of the lines of this poem, depending on what flavor of Star Trek fandom you belong to, uh, if any. It's entitled, as I said, Calmly We Walk Through This April's Day by Delmore Schwartz. Calmly we walk through this April's day, metropolitan poetry here and there. In the park sit pauper and rentier, the screaming children, the motor car, fugitive about us, running away. Between the worker and the millionaire, number provides all distances. It is 1937 now. Many great deers are taken away. What will become of you and me? This is the school in which we learn. Besides the photo and the memory, that time is the fire in which we burn. This is the school in which we learn. What is the self amid this blaze? What am I now? that I was then, which I shall suffer and act again, the theodicy I wrote in my high school days restored all life from infancy. The children shouting are bright as they run. This is the school in which they learn, ravished entirely in their passing play, that time is the fire in which they burn. Avid its rush, that reeling blaze, where is my father and Eleanor? Not where are they now, dead seven years, but what they were then. No more? No more? From 1914 to the present day, Bert Spira and Rhoda consume, consume. Not where they are now. Where are they now? But what they were then, both beautiful. Each minute bursts in the burning room. The great globe reels in the solar fire, spinning the trivial and unique away. How all things flash, how all things flare. What am I now that I was then? May memory restore again and again the smallest color of the smallest day. Time is the school in which we learn. Time is the fire in which we burn. As Calmly We Walk Through This April's Day by Delmore Schwartz, published in Selected Poems, 1938 to 1958, Summer Knowledge in 1967. <clears throat> now what this poem says to me is that all of us live our lives in a classroom. And in this classroom, the number one lesson that we learn is that this room itself is using us up. It's changing us from what we used to be into ash and memories. And that's just the way it is. There's not a thing we can do about it. So until next time, BookTube, have a good one.